within the communities where we work and live. We are so grateful to the Western Showdown team for allowing us to partner with them to bring you this event. And I wanna wish you all, the teams, a safe and successful event. Hello everyone and welcome to the 2023 Nutrient Ag Solutions Western Curling Showdown. We're so glad you've decided to join us to come see some of the world's best curlers participate in this event. My name is Jim Grundy. I'm the branch director for RBC Dominion Securities here in Swift Current. Our branch is not only a huge fan in support of curling in our community, we're also proud to support the 2023 Nutrient Ag Solutions Western Curling Showdown, as RBC is committed to working with our community to promote and celebrate vibrancy in sport in the community in which we live. Thank you to everyone on the organizing committee for putting this great event together. And on behalf of RBC Dominion Securities, enjoy the tournament. Saskatchewan, you know SaskTel because we're everywhere. Because being everywhere keeps us connected to you. With SaskTel sponsorships, we get to be part of your community. We're here with you and we're here for you. It's easy to get started. All you need to do is apply. SaskTel cares, always has, always will. To apply for sponsorship, visit sastel.com slash sponsorships.
light up your love for curling with our customizable neon LED lights from Letterlands. Choose your new Neon Mix Doubles partner or make a statement with a Neon Curling Rock in your window. Also actual Letterlands. Use discount code WHOA for 15% off. Only at Letterlands.com. We asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed? More innovation? That's going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. Swift Current is great because everybody that we do business with, we know on some sort of personal level. What I love about Swift Current is the vibrant arts and culture community. I really like Swift Current. We are not a big city, but the size of the city is really good and we have everything. Swift Current is a great sports town, great teams and great fans. People say, you know, good morning, hi, how are you, even though we don't know each other. So with the impact of my business and income, Will this delay my retirement? I know you're worried, Marshall, but based on the original plan we came up with, you're only about six months behind. I thought it would be years, not months. You should feel good. Remember, you've got a plan. Thanks. With change comes questions. See the impact of your money decisions before you make them with RBC Wealth Plan. On the second end, here brought into the ring. Corner guard still now. Uh, to the next shot rock. Keep us all now looking to come around the corner guard. Enrique Yoshida. Nice line but coming by the guard. A little bit of a two line area. This second shot that buried around the corner. Eric Heveno with her third stone again, looking to follow that down. Kelly Schaefer on the brush, has to get by the corner guard. Boy, great job on the brush, just gets by. Actually stays just so, ever so slightly on the inside of that yellow stone. Punches it back about a foot. Robin Silvernagel sitting too. Kelly Schaefer looking for oxygen.
was the fifth rock to end, so now a chance to start dealing guards. Off to the field towards that red in the corner, see if she can clean up a couple. Just drives it over the top. Kelly Schaefer now looking to replace the guard. Sliding a little deep on them. Going to come into the top of the eight foot. Fourth shot. Does provide some protection backs going, but uh, close enough together now there's at least a double available. Might be able to hit uh, just off the nose on the redstone, bring it back, catch the shot rock in the forefoot, and then come across. You won't get all three of them out, but you can get all three of them moving, and if you do that, uh, the one red that's left might be open. Need to get at least the nose, if not just across the face, ever so slightly. This is going to have to come up close. I'll just drive it by the stone with the forefoot. Didn't used to be Silver Nagel sitting two. Dangerous to make a play on that yellow stone, and you can use it as kind of the second guard. a little deep on her last guard attempt, a chance to take that couple of feet of weight off, move it again. Needs to take away a piece of that yellow stone as well. I think it's close to lined up to the yellow one. A little piece of shot rock available. Looking at the double run. Or the straight peel on the, on the rock that's up there and it might come into the side of like that rock, red rock on the side of the forefoot. Got options here. Appears to be playing out turn, big weight. Back just clips the Yellowstone and on well, a bit of a bad break in that you, you would have thought you couldn't clip that thin enough to go over the top. And she does. More importantly, the shooter rolls over and covers the second shot off at the edge of the Robin Robbins living over now Kelly Swift is not the third time to start up the shot rock. Again, she slides into the rings. Same thing she looked at a couple of shots ago. The straight back, try to move all three reds. Hard to get all three of them out. The one coming straight back will go into the side of the other one and probably stay right there. But if it stays right there, at least, then it's mostly in the open. And you pick the other one out the side. It's possible if you hit the first one, come across and kind of touch the back of that second stone, you might get it to scale back. Needs to get two here, though. Gets two, does catch the back end of that third one, and throws it back far enough to sit two. That is an outstanding shot.
so important that they got that back as far as they did. It forced the Robert Jordan to make a play on the second shot stone. She doesn't want to risk giving up three. Had that stone stayed for second at the back of 12 here in the back of eight, she might just play a straight freeze here, which would be an easier way to get at the yellow at the back eight. It's just that when you're already facing two, when you bring three or perhaps even four in the play, it's kind of more than that. Looking for the hit in the long roll. Robin Silverman was so good at these shots. She's got the hit. And if these stones as lively as they are, this actually might overroll on her. Now, big spin back at the end. I'm not sure. I think she might have rolled too far. It certainly was too far for a moment. It spun back at the end. I think it's still Fuji Sala sitting shot rocks. Really, I, I'm not sure that it matters who shot Rock. I don't know what else she's got besides this draw. So we try to come around with the in -turn, out turn, pardon me. Get on the corner of the red. If you're sure you're shot Rock, you definitely don't have to move it. I have to think that she's thinking that high up in the eight that she must be shot Rock in the back of the eight, but she certainly wouldn't want to risk being only third shot here if uh, Silver Needle was shot. Suzuki Fujisawa with last rock here in the second end. Looking to draw in around the corner. I believe she's sitting one right now. It's a chance to sit two under cover. Rushes have been on this all the way, though. He's going to come up well short of the rings. Now an opportunity for Robin Silvernagel to make the draw. And if that uh, starts being a little wider, she's got a good piece of the forefoot here. Might have a chance to steal. Almost fight button here and still be dead buried. Kevin staying close, but uh, hasn't really laid a brush to it yet. Lots of room by the front one now, backing away. This might be a little strong. It's going to be a lot strong. Going to slide through the eight foot. It does come to rest in the back 12. That leaves Fujisawa the chance to draw with her last one. Needs to almost fight the four foot. The count, I believe it would be a count of two. So I'm sure they'll take a look at it when the end is complete. Got no other shot anyway. She really can't get to the red in a way that uh, she could guarantee it was out and count the extra point. So if you play the straight draw here, and if they want to measure, you let them measure. the opportunity to bury one on their first bit of staff. Possibly have a chance to three this end. Came up well short. Needs to make the adjustment here. She's cleaning early, but no big sweep. See one hand up as they go there asking for it to stop. She was light on the first one. Puts the second one right on the T line, edge of the forefoot. Not even going to measure that one. It's two points on the board for Suzuki Fujisawa. You take the two to nothing lead here over Robert Silvernagel in this final round robin game for these two teams. 
Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium. Well, what do y'all think? Too blue? Not blue enough? Try this. Makes your eyes pop. This could be our best yield yet. And didn't we get this seed at a great financing rate? Yeah, we did. Ice tea? Great idea. Let's talk more about next year. I got some thoughts. And I've got some numbers. Nutrient Financial. Financing that's in the field with you. SASTEL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. Center guard thrown up by the Fujisawa team to start things off here in the third. Now look to the corner. Spot there for Kelly Schaefer. She was trying to sweep to get it to curl, but uh, we also had to be careful we didn't put it in the rings. Probably the trickiest part of playing shorthanded. And this Silver Nagel team has been shorthanded all week. Uh, they knew they were going to be shorthanded to start the event. Jalen Pitts has uh, work commitments. Had a chance to talk to Claire Devenor after their game yesterday. Did ask them. They had a sub lined up, or if uh, Jalen was going to be joining them later on. Apparently, they had a sub lined up to start the event, but then the sub came up ill. So uh, they started short handed. And after they had a couple of games in, and this icing a little bit tricky, there's a lot of late movement. They just felt that uh, they were better off to continue on with three rather than to introduce a new player having to figure out the ice three games into it. Second guard thrown up by the Fujisawa team now there at Kevino looking to come around both of those. Really curling. Really. She was by the long guard by a foot and just barely gets by the, the tight one. Brings it in for shot rock in the forefoot, dead behind cover. Yumi Suzuki, looking to follow that stone down, try to sit right on the face of it. Both brushes working hard on this one again. Off the room by the long one, but they're going to have to work just by the tight one. It doesn't really have the weight. Nudging up against that stone, and I'm not sure that it rolled off it enough that uh, you could even promote that rock. 
think it's still overlap is what we're doing. Give Kara Kevin another chance to come around. Good moving from the hog line in the sister and ice all week long. He's a good example of it. You do a port like that, you actually have to be closer to the wide guard. Slides a little bit deep on that one. Before Luke comes out and sit on top of it for shot rocket. Now, Rob Pittman is going to have to clean up the butt a little bit. Out of the brushes so far. So hard on the deck with patience. They have to wait for these blocks to start to break. So it looks like they wanted to go on. It kind of really comes down. Imagine that turn back just a little bit. A little bit extra weight. We didn't get to play through with it. Like Peter Robinson still in the first try. Try to get to the nose of that. Good feel the guards as well. Too worried about the long guard. The two yellow slides to the side. If you hit the uh, apple hunter, what you can see, I guess, of the first yellow is going to come off the side of the other yellow. And probably come back into the and there might be a contact zone just wrong. It's as if the shooter might come across in off the back into the other red guard. You can make contact with the guard first, you can slide right by. Hit the yellow shot stone, drives the dummy to get it to pass. I don't believe I think the silver is a very strong hitting shot rock. Game I was calling him last throughout one week. The game is in that spot. I thought both of these off guards a little bit closer. And they're not really throwing it. So the possibility is that uh, we're in for day four if you're about 15 guys in. Rock would have been prepared for competition before they started. Sanded. Put the terminology you like. But a lot of cases, they start to straighten out just a little bit by the time you get this lady in the competition. No shortage of curl on this attempt brings it right around that stone just outside the ring. Top of the forefoot, dead buried. It is only third shot, but it's angled nicely onto that red shot stone. And Robin Silvernagle needs to make some room to try to score two. She's going to make another attempt at uh, double peeling these yellows. If they make that, then uh, the other side of the coin. A bit of a bad break there. It came back so straight that it actually put the yellow onto the red. Fujisawa sitting two still. It does leave the red zone at the back of the eight foot. The only center guard. Go to the picture in the uh, overhead view. The long guard, to be honest, earlier this year, not protecting a lot. Tsunami Yoshida being asked to throw a tighter guard. This will be kind of a, once you get a sliver underneath the long guard, just so that you can't run it back. But yet protect that third shot stone the uh, rock to the top of the fourth as well. Second shot of the two. Not 
not sure if they changed the call to coming out, coming in all the way or if that was an audible because the weight was there and they had to bury a piece. Regardless, it ends up in a pretty good spot. Rob Silverman has to deal with the guard. And play the peel on the guard. Towards the red stone that's just outside the ring. If it comes over the top of that stone, you get a bit of a break. You drive it back into something. It's going to be awfully close to your nose. I'm not sure that's the way they were trying to hit it, but it works out for them. They move both of the stones on the top of the forefoot area. Opens things up for them a bit. He did roll just a little bit to the uh, split center. Now I'm not sure there's a hole through on uh, what would be Robin Ginter inside. Probably there, but it's just there. It won't look good from the hats. Got Tuki Fujisawa looking to take the out turn away now. Come right into the top of the forefoot. Barry. Had a chance to draw with their first stone last and came up well short. They jumped the brush on this one right away and it's well short again. Robin's got really much of a choice for only alternative to play the come around. They are looking to see who's got second shot, but for now, I think you play the come around. If you have to put this right on the face, she does have that uh, red corner guard. She would be able to run it back with her last one. It could be possibly as many as three, depending on who's got second shot. Needs to make this one first. Has to go a little wider now. Have lots of room. Probably Gilbert will have a chance to draw last name as well. She was a little heavy. And going to be a little heavy once again. This slides to the back eight. And really didn't look like they thought that was heavy. Derek Evan was close all the way down, had the brush down a couple of times. I think they expected that as it hit the hog line, it would start to curl and slow down and really good. Another chance for Fujisawa to play the draw. Try to get to the top of the forefoot, actually, in this case, now around the one that she just threw. The last attempt, she probably had to cross the center line. She can actually stay on the broom side of center with this draw and cut off any draw path that uh, Robin Silvermeagle may have. I'm not sure what Robin would have to score. Probably still has to play the angle running with some kind of weight just to score. A 
Is it close on this one? The hog line, they go with the offside sweep, try to get a little extra curl. Brings it down right into the corner of the button, right where she tapped the ice. And I've been already looking at that angle path and that's all she's got. There's the possibility if she could drive this back, catch just the edge of the one that was just thrown and then come straight back. She could double the two yellows. It'd still be worth at least two, maybe three, depending on who's got uh, his currently fourth shot at the back. And really, she doesn't have to whip it to make sure she scores two. She's only looking to move the two rocks out of the forefoot. A little dangerous to throw with extra weights. If she hit it wrong, you could drive red onto yellow onto red. Give up the steal of at least two, and it could be three with the measure, but you're already looking at two. We've also got two ways she could just dead stuff it onto really either one of those yellow rocks and pick up a single. Takes a hit. Dead stuffs it onto the one at the top of the button. Ah, it's one of the ways she could pick up the single point. Put one point on the board, Robin Silver, and she closes to within two to one. Satsuki Fujisawa will have last rock again in the board. I've been farming on my own right for 40 years now, I think. It's a very uh, wholesome enterprise. You have very, very busy periods when you have to go hard. So many of our windows are so tight that uh, you, you just can't afford to miss a couple of days of seating. When a producer places their trust in us, that when it's time for them to be able to make their living, we're going to be there. That's a tremendous responsibility that is not a one day a year thing, right? In order to actually deliver on that, you have to build your processes and you have to build your team and you have to have a, a mindset of operational excellence because there's a lot of things that can go wrong and it's our job to make sure that they don't go wrong or if they do go wrong, that we can fix it before it affects our customers. So with the impact of my business and income, Will this delay my retirement? I know you're worried, Marshall, but based on the original plan we came up with, you're only about six months behind. I thought it would be years, not months. You should feel good. Remember, you've got a plan. Thanks. With change comes questions. See the impact of your money decisions before you make them with RBC Wealth Plan. Light up your love for curling with our customizable neon LED lights from Letterland. Choose your new neon mixed doubles partner or make a statement with a neon curling rock in your window. Also actual Letterland. Use discount code WOW for 15% off. Only at Letterlands.com. Center guard thrown up to start the playoff here in the fourth end. And Eureka Shishida looking to come around it now. Outstanding final stone for Robin Silver and able to pick up the single. She had a couple of ways that rock could turn out good for her. Probably greedily hoping that it would turn out uh, as a deuce, but she'd ha be happy with one. All kinds of trouble there if she just throw that last one. I'm around the camp doesn't get buried. He's open in the loop foot.
is the second chance I've had to watch the Silver Nagel team. And of course, they have mentioned they've been playing shorthanded all weekend. Nice draw by Kerry Kevin. I'll come right down to the face of that. I think the hardest thing they have to do is with only one sweeper, because you want a sweeper excellently, it, it was, it was uh, tough watching Billy Schaefer on that one. She's got to be ready. She doesn't know which side she's going to be asked to sweep from. So she's coming down behind the rock, ready to go whichever side she has to go. It can almost uh, take the thrower out of the line, probably. Really can't see the line because the sweeper's got to be in the way. I also happened noticing the earlier game when I did it. They go back and forth a couple of times. It's one thing to stay straight, then stay say curl, but if you have to switch back and forth a couple of times, it's just too hard to switch back and forth, especially when they're trying to sweep with uh, both Kara and Kelly. So with one gripper and the slider, it's tough to change direction back. Out of the corner ends up in the back 12 foot, so there's Kevin Ogden look to, to stay on that stone. The rocks haven't been placed quite as perfectly as we have seen in a couple of earlier broadcasts, but this end following in a similar script to what we've seen play, but there are a number of teams that like to play it this way when they're off just to the center guard. Come around with the first one, you expect them to make the freeze, and then you throw one to the corner. Now, we would like to Barry to come around and have the draw to the corner sit closer to the D line, but it ends up more or less the same. And now, when, uh, when it is that deep, you don't have to hit this rock, it's going to play the freeze. Or at least draw over in that direction, leave it where there's something she could jam on. That's a nice draw. Got a couple of feet of separation. It's still second shot, though. Hard for Robin Silvernagel to ignore it. Also going to be hard for Kelly Schaefer to remove it and uh, keep her shooter. Could double it off the stone for back if she wants to keep the shooter, I guess. Not going to be shot rock regardless. Oh, this is curling. Man. They might be going to plan B here, trying to pick it over the top. Not the way they had in mind, but they couldn't afford to jam it. They're letting it curl. Takes it out off of her own. Continues to be Fujisawa sitting one at the top of the eight foot. Looking to draw to that open side again. Russians have been on this all the way down. T-line here, you want it uh, deep enough that if Robin Silvernagel ever tries to hit roll into the center off, which she's going to have to be back out. They were looking for the nose hit, but uh, comes across. 
back half of the button and uh, it does look to be mostly buried. The heat is stopping where it did though. If you look at the red yellow at the top, they're, they're not quite dead lined up to that stone. If you just saw it to try to tap that up, it, it might go by it all together. It's going to have to come around from the uh, intern side. Hand to the heel is usually halfway. Tsunami Yoshida with the throw. The brushers down right away. Has to get by that long guard. Just going to overcurl, rub the guard. Maybe a little quiet on the way, too. This is... We're going to spin into the rings, touch top eight, but that's no more than just a uh, dead key line back four foot weight. Oh, man. Did get the guard out of the way. It actually protects the red yellow in the rings. Kelly Shaper being asked to guard the shot stone now. We're going to go have shot stone on the button. The yellow stone at the top of the eight foot is second, and the red frozen foot is third. Just looking for a guard here. Maybe a tight guard. Tight enough that uh, she was going to take a run at the double here. Straight back. In out on the throw here, might have to go over the top with it. She's going to hit it even thick enough for that. No, she's going to put this onto the red yellow at the top of the house. Killed both of those. That decision to come for Robert Silver, if she could put the guard back. But now she has an opportunity to hit the only yellow stone left in the ring. Try to roll over. Sit two, and uh, the shooter can still protect that stone in the, in the button area. Nothing out of the brush early now, looking for extra curl. He's going to make the hit. Pulls a couple of inches, but leaves the path to get at that shot stone. We'll leave uh, Suzuki with a choice to be made. She could play the hit and roll, the one she just indicated, hit and roll behind the stone that was just delivered. Probably room on this ice. She could get the nose just across the nose even and, and stay in behind the center guard too. The problem there is you make it good and, and Robin follows it down sits on top of it. How do you score two? Roll behind the stone in the eight foot. It's, it's a short run back to Robin Silvernago, but uh, even if she makes it perfect, you're going to have the four foot available to score.
early indications in the brushes, this might be a little more weight than they had in mind, but they've been calling the sweep on for line the whole way. Makes the hit, rolls across, but then spins back at the end and stays in the court. Might have came just a little past 12 o'clock on the release and got it pointed in a little bit. So that kind of got caught. So one brusher calling that it was heavy, and yet they were calling for a line the whole way down. And then go electing to play the out turn of this, so it's the reverse stagger on the court. Lots of room, but visually it just doesn't look as good in the half. <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. It, it doesn't look great from the half. And the way this ice runs, I, I'm not sure I'd want to take that much ice to play it because it moves so straight early and all the movements at the end. The easiest way to play this actually might be to put the broom inside the edge of the rock and throw some weight at it. Well, she talked about it, she came down and looked at it again, and she sticks with the initial call. Again, it's there, the way this ice runs, but that... Uh, Going to the corner, she shouldn't have to worry about it running quite as straight as coming to the middle. And, uh, moving to the corner is a little bit more gradual. The movement towards the middle is really late. Through the port, it's a hit. Maybe a little thin on the first one. Roll all the way across and. No spin at the end, so it out of the rings will be a chance for Itsuki Fujisawa to play the blank. Well, missed opportunity there for the Silver Nagel. If she stays anywhere in the rings, it's at least a force. If she rolls in behind cover, she might have been looking at a chance to steal here. Final stone for Fujisawa here in the fourth. A chance for the blank. Takes the hit. She's a little thin on it, but avoids the jam at the back. It's a blank here in the fourth. Fujisawa continues continue to lead by a score to two to one, and we'll have last rock again in fifth.
I've got the bill. Oh, well, now, I've got the tip. Standard tip increased 2% this year. <laughs> That's why I keep you around. So, corn's looking great. Well, our crop plan is working. Mm, and we locked in that input financing at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. Well, what do y'all think? Too blue? Not blue enough? Try this. Makes your eyes pop. This could be our best yield yet. And didn't we get this seed at a great financing rate? Yeah, we did. Iced tea? Great idea. Let's talk more about next year. I got some thoughts. And I've got some numbers. Nutrient Financial. Financing that's in the field with you. Sean Joyce, happy to be with you here from uh, Swift Current for the Nutrient Ag Solutions Western Showdown. It's women's action. Final round robin game for both of these teams. 25 teams started play here earlier in the week. 10 teams make it through to some sort of playoff. Fujisawa coming in with a record of 3-0. They're going to have a piece of the playoff somewhere. Robin Tiller made like 2 and one chest. Treat this as a must-win game. It is mathematically possible that somebody's going to get in at 2-2 two two because they have to rely on your uh, cumulative draw to the button distance as a tiebreaker with, boy, it could be five or six other teams. Would like to win, take care of things on yourself. Must win for Silvernagel, and it's, uh, I sure would like to win for Satsuki Fujisawa. 4-0 would definitely put her in the top six due to the quarterfinals tomorrow morning. Approach to this uh, fifth end for Fujisawa. You saw our last end uh, come around the center guard. And Silvernagel came on top of it. She threw one to the corner. This time electing to come around the middle again. Last stone stays just open. There might be room for uh, Kara Kevino to play the double on the yellows. Might be room for her to make the double on the yellows and roll under cover. Stone in the probably just edge to edge with the guard, but we get some late finish here. We need to roll very far to get buried. Still backing off that line though, so now calling for the sweep to make it curl. Just jammed the first yellow onto the second. Shooter rolls across, so they able to make second and third. Yumi Suzuki now being asked to come down, sit on the corner of the red second shot stone. And doing that should protect their own shot rock as well. So I just picked this one up right out of her hand, but I've had a couple of rocks come up short here. Coming up short again, that ends up at the center guard. It does protect shot rock. Um, and I guess thinking it might be easier to get at her own stone using uh, Kelly's outturn. Of the redstone, you push the yellow out into the open and open to bring the shooter in behind uh, 
deeper in the house than that redstone they're making contact with, hoping it doesn't really go anywhere. Looping for curl now. They just want to make thin contact with the red. Carry the shooter back to the T-line so there's no double off of it. And punch the yellow out into the open. Things starting to get a little congested in the middle and situation at the top of the house really favoring the silver nagel team. Fujisawa now looking to make the double peel. Red across the top of that yellow that's a little tighter now. They might be able to bring it straight back and do some damage in the rings. This is really curling though. They wanted to hit that stone on the other side. Try to catch the yellow guard as well. Last minute audible, they called the sweep off and at least clip one of those red stones out of the rings. Chance for Kelly Schaefer to make the hit, sit three. Makes the hit, rolls just a little bit to the outside. For uh, Peter Sala to make a play on the stone that Kelly Chaser just delivered and roll undercover. Still be playing around a messy center line area. So he's going to look to run that guard back one more time. I'm looking to run it on the angle towards the stone that was just delivered. Maybe not. She should be able to roll the sheet away now. That might have been a little bit of an in out delivery. Still backing up off the line. She was looking to hit the other direction. Just set that release enough that uh, wouldn't come up for her. Heals the guard. We've always got to be throwing the guard here. The discussion was about where to put it. And it looks like she wants to protect a little bit more on the broom side here. Doesn't want to leave it the broom side of that rock. So Kevin was on the brush right away. to go a little bit for line as well as weight. Pick up covering about a third of the stone. So if Subisawa wants to make a play on shot rock, she'd have to roll away from everything else. She could make a play on second shot rock and roll under cover. Is for hack weight here, so they'll try to get really tight by the guard and see if they can keep a piece of this underneath cover. They get close to the nose. Or if she slipped with the guard with just hack weight, she might be able to get inside the nose and roll Barry. Now they're on the brush right away here. Really moving outside the hog line already. Oh, she fly the front one this week for the extra curl they can get at the end and uh, manages to hit it just on the nose. She leaves her stone partially buried. Silvernagel sitting one still. That stone at the edge of the eight foot is shot rock.
hard for Robin to do anything with the yellow one. Try to play the same shot that she leaves the reds overlapping. You probably expect to see Kubisawa come around now when she knows she's got a half the score here. Yellowstone is a dangerous rock to leave there. Come around. Kujisawa is going to tap it up. Robin's first thought was to play the come around. She's still looking at it. Usually when it's your first shot, it's a pretty good sign that Skip feels pretty confident throwing this shot. Can't be really top button or you leave the double off the uh, red side of the eight foot, so she's probably going to have to come back button on this. Kevin with the brush down early, now going a little harder. Robin Silvernagel joining the brush. You see Robin jump in uh, as if they were trying to make it curl. I'm not sure why they ever wanted that to curl. Buried now in overlap. Kujisawa has a chance to make the play on Shot Rock. And really, she's got choices. She could try to roll undercover. Or she could roll a sliver the other way and corner three to the other red stone. Sit two that way. Yoshida running down, and I, I don't know that that was necessarily as much to, to add input as, as much as she probably had the same question I did, which way are we playing this? I would get to the brushes to know. That broom placement, I gotta think she's trying to roll to the middle. She was plenty high enough in the ring rolling to the middle that uh, Robin Silvernagel shouldn't be able to freeze to it and take your end away. On the brush all the way, and this is really curling. They're going to have to go just to make contact. They're not going to get by the stone at the top of the 12 foot, and a little fortunate in that they come across and at least clip the second shot stone. But they punch that red stone that uh, Robin Silvernagel threw in on the first one out to where she can see it and angle it onto shot rock. I have to think she was maybe just a little inside out of her hand. They called the brush on right away. Certainly a missed opportunity. Suzuki Fujisawa. Still, if uh, Robin Silvanega can make this shot, sit two. Don't know that she can save both red ones, as long as she's sitting two force Fujisawa to try to draw for a single. The upside for Fujisawa is only going to need to be full eight foot. Makes the hit. Stops the red one and that little spin at the end. She might be sitting free. 
first redstone really takes away the intern draw to the button. You can't hit it if you shot rock. But it doubles really flat. Is it fair? Is that what she's looking at? No. Looking at hitting and rolling in off the stone at the side of the apron. Really hard to tell who's third, but it really looks like they're eyeing this up for the flat double. Boy, she's going to have to come flying out of the hats to make that. Much weight as she can out of the hacks, gives it a little extension at the end. Has to get to the inside of this at least to roll in for shot. Who stays on the outside of it makes the hit, but that'll be a steal of one for Robin Silvernagel. And after five ends of play, we're once again all tied up. Fujisawa with Flat Rock and six. Light up your love for curling with our customizable neon LED lights from Letterlands. Choose your new Neon Mix Doubles partner or make a statement with a Neon Curling Rock in your window. Also actual Letterlands. Use discount code WO for 15% off. Only at Letterlands.com. We asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed? More innovation? It's going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. SwiftCard is great because everybody that we do business with, we know on some sort of personal level. What I love about SwiftCurrent is the vibrant arts and culture community. I really like SwiftCurrent. We are not a big city, but the size of the city is really good and we have everything. Swift Current is a great sports town, great teams and great fans. People say, you know, good morning, hi, how are you, even though we don't know each other. So with the impact of my business and income, Will this delay my retirement? I know you're worried, Marshall, but based on the original plan we came up with, you're only about six months behind. I thought it would be years, not months. You should feel good. Remember, you've got a plan. Thanks. With change comes questions. See the impact of your money decisions before you make them with RBC Wealth Plan. Stolen point in the fifth end ties things up here. Robin Silvernagel and Suki Fujisawa. Final round robin game for these two teams. Looking to move into the 10 team playoff here in the women's division of the Nuclear United Solutions Western Showdown. Top six teams in the women's field will go directly through to the championship round. More morning. Seven, eight, nine, and ten will play for the last two spots. That'll be later on tonight. A couple of teams already finished their round robin for A few more teams that will play their final round robin game for the next draw. Here, Kevin over the center guard to start things off here. The corner guard to follow it. I don't know if he come around the tenth or the center guard for me and comes to rest, shot rock, buried in the twelfth foot. Interesting to me that in the last three ends, we've seen Sakuki Fujisawa start the end three different ways. In the fourth, she 
came around the center guard. Kevin O'Froze with that, then she played to the win. In the fifth, played around the center guard. Kevin O'Froze to that on the corner, albeit. But she played to the middle again. Here in the sixth, she doesn't come around the center guard at all, plays the corner guard right away. Because of the reverse stagger, plays the path instead of the come around. But have the rock partially covered behind the corner guard. It is shot rock. There, Kevin O now will look to come around both of those stones on the center line. Actually, using that uh, 12 foot rock as the second guard. I think, going back to my comment, it's just unusual to see a team at this level play the same scenario three different ways in the same game. Looking for the run back now. Just a little off the nose and Boy, how unfortunate is that? She puts it between the red and the yellow in the ring. It doesn't disturb anything in the ring. It does keep the uh, shooter for a corner guard on the other side. That might help her later on. You know, the first thought was to throw the guard. The feeling from the other end, where it's having a play safety, the protection in the corner is starting to be a bit of a problem. Maybe you better deal with that with the rock. You can the play on the rock in the ring. You can put the off one of the corner guards. You can do things that way. You can get rid of the corner guards for that. Uh, Yellowstone at second shot right now in the corner is at least accessible for either turn. When you roll across, you might get the guard out of it at the same time. That's talking about the hit roll on the turn in the ring. So it does look like it's the two on it. You look from the overhead side, the two on the right hand side, like them. Hard to hit the rock in the ring without rolling over and taking the three stones. I think that might have been the deciding factor. They're going to make the cutting about it. Try to roll across and cover there. The second shot came in more way to cover the end of the top of the ball foot. I understand that. Rolls across. Does line up dead to that stone at the top of the 12 foot. Looks to be there for people to come up and come She hits the second one fairly thick. The first stone to go across the top of the yellow. 
does have access to go after shot stone directly. Roll to the corner. That's what she's looking at now. Let's see that way. to the hint if we usually bump away from any language. Girl is a good spoke to the hog line. That's big finish that we've seen all week long. Makes the hit, but uh, I think it pulls just a little bit, they're not able to roll it behind cover. They do sit two. Definitely looking at playing the hit and roll behind the center. It's the question of which drop is it better to hit. So, really, pretty much equal distance, equal depth in the house. Maybe some concern that if they roll right just on the two on the center, that the biggest hour is close to triple. Got to roll all the way across to the underneath the yellow. If you're not, you're going to have to do it in this position. The other side is going to be going to come in and try to get to it. You can just miss the curl, you know. In case you get the hit. Big roll now. Where is it going to stop? That's not the time to be shot. Stopping the rings at all. You just saw it hitting one. You need that corner guard. That's the only way to do it. I'm just talking about playing the two reds in the middle. Hard to do much with them. If you don't play the double, you can lose the shooter. Trying to run it straight back. You have to lose some back. Now you can do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Play it now. I think the fast the biggest pass today is that they were lined up to the right to the pot. It seems to be that there for Robert Gordon with a pretty much tap. We should add to the risk to do it again a couple of shots. He made a tap to the button and left a staggered garden from it. Just one rock in the ring now. It belongs to Fujisawa. At the open side. So I think they can just hit it. It's a long roll to go over. All the way across the house and the corner guard. Like that. She's right there. She might have liked to roll in a little bit just to get raw. Could you get shot raw? Thought about playing this well in the last one. Wanted to deal with those two red stones on the center line first. I mean, you know, with her playing with stones, you know, with her stones, with her to come around. That's a three shot two situation that a lot of teams do with that big shot of the beach. You just had to go around the center leg.
25. I'd like to stay in front of the T line with that line. It's going to walk that line much better. She's got to sit in front of the T line. Got to pay her nice. Drop it over. Make no choice but to come down. Sit on the corner of it. Be more than about half a rock in front of it, or uh, she'll have curled too far to be flat rock. I was saying that not a lot of room for her. We're only looking to be half a rock in front of it, chip off at all. You're out in the open. Off and on all the way down, she had to wait until uh, give us an indication of which way the line was going, or which side she should be on. Robin Tolenagle, outstanding drop, comes down, sits right on the corner, might just a little bit. She can tap the camera. Stayed overlapped on this yellow stone. I don't know if you see, uh, pardon me, who saw it come down and, uh, Across the face of that stone enough to pass it by the yellow. Maybe she up the path comes off the yellow. She can really get that red to take it last one. Put some pressure on Robert Silver may go to pitch a big count. Almost not there at all. It's just a big the yellow, which doesn't hurt at all. It's all from the other end. They're looking at playing the guard back. These other options are remote and close to King is what is looking at the future. Talking about, you know, just perhaps a slight variation on what we were looking at originally. We we're trying to get over the top and tap the red back. A little bit on the center line side, tap the red onto the yellow. Leave the yellow a foot, foot and a half to a third. Have the red skin back in behind the rock we're about to throw. Try to leave it almost frozen. Uh, possibly shot a third or second and third, either way. That'd be pretty good.
can tell if the first comes down, does make a little tap. You serve shooter in front of the redstone. It is looking to the stage shot rock, but Houston Neal had good angle for uh Sawa to fill that redstone up for Robin Silverman as he can bring another red into the ring where Stephen Sawa couldn't knock the yellow and uh, make a double on the next red that she put in. Yellow gets the top back to come out into the open, not in the middle of the yellow and trying to stop under. Probably room there that you could put that ball to the back, go up at 6 2, and that would prevent uh, any chance for the you could draw to the back door pretty well. I'm going to play the guard. We have uh, half the logo, so you just a little bit higher than the logo. A little careful here, but it doesn't need to keep the style of team very well. This is a team. A lot of teams here that uh, get too tight with the start. They'll run the red, cross the face on the yellow, jam the yellow onto the red, roll the gray stone out, pick up the two that way. It's too tight with the guard. You might take a That's interesting. She left her maybe two inches, but it's two inches on the side where she might be able to make it a mile. Critical thinking is where she took the burn the first time. I think she had a third of the left. Probably will. But there's probably no plan B. You're either making it or you're putting the first one too thin and then it's likely a steal. Always got the draw to the fourth with some single. If you have a long double across again, the angle's not great, so I mean, if you hit it perfect, you go into the uh, yellow with the side of the felt, but it's never for more than two. Real tough to use four points. In the end, it looks like she decides. Best to take the single.
explain to you uh, as well as you can look at it. After down the sheet. She wants to play it. Maybe first shot to set this up. Might still have enough of it. It could be the green. Looks like she's going to give it a go. There's some late movement here. They're trying to make sure they get it out of the uh, red that was just going to be guarded by Robin Silver. They're going to jump on the feet from the offside to get as much curl as they can. She could hit it at a third of the Yellowstone match and put it just too directly onto the red. Now the question is, who's going to move forward to go over here? You're only hitting a third of a stone. That's for a tiny little way to do it. They're going to move that from two to three if they can. At least out of the eight to the four two. Up going back to the decision to play the out turn draw. This is really running straight on this. The pressure starts with the curl now, and when it does, it should slow down, but that is over and angle. That's needed at the key line. It does stop. Back button. So a few anxious moments there that come to rest back button. But CC Fujifala puts up the single point. He takes the lead after six ends. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, pawn spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your stream curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Well, what do y'all think? Too blue? Not blue enough. Try this. Makes your eyes pop. This could be our best yield yet. And didn't we get this seed at a great financing rate? Yeah, we did. Iced tea? Great idea. Let's talk more about next year. I got some thoughts. And I've got some numbers. Nutrient Financial. Financing that's in the field with you. SASTAL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTAL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. And the guys going up to focus. There's Kevin Owens looking to come around it. And the team, the pressure has been working a lot for the other team. Coming out to help from the hog line in. Yep, so I need to stop 12th. Good save. Oh, 
Mike and Peter now looking from right around everything. This line coming in is just pushing out where it's going to start. This line to the back. It's the rest back week for loose shot rock. Seven all again with the students to come around. I don't see it like a few right here. But, hey. A little bit more room now that you uh, think that Delta, but maybe thought they were going to have for this week. No, that brings just time to be Shot Rock and Mini, but not really going to like it. Uh, Venus the week, you can freeze on it here. Shot Rock and uh, all of that, and be shot again. It's the fifth rock at the end, and you see Robin Jordan in the site. That's a long way out yet, though. That's the thing to do. Plenty of room by the guard, and also plenty of room by the stone himself. But he's down the edge of the rock. It's the second shot of the short hit. Looking at throwing the hit and roll over, but in the field, the scene draw. So, what a strong case of a sweep for a Rub off the yellow stone. Getting the yellow red fairly even. Going to Peter in a little bit towards the middle. Silver Nagel sitting too. It's time for the Peter Solid team to see if he's going to get the hard to get the inside of that red. But the red is going to be yellow. You're going to explain the three, but if you want to, you're going to three, but if you want to wiggle the two stones behind the this, this three for this rock. Right now, the one that we just throw in the end of the three feet, you need two shots to get it out. Down top that stone up and there's always a few stones behind it, just a few inches, just so there's enough of a port. You can run this through. And the bus much earlier this time, they had a lot of room on the left of them. This one's getting close to the guard early, and it's not just the guard out front. There's a rock at the top of the shelf, but they have to get by. Not going to get by the long guard. Stay with it. Maybe to get a middle of the 12 foot.
But the Robin Silvernagle, as you began play here in this seventh game, you were thinking maybe either way, a blank, or you'd like to throw two or more. You're pretty much committed now. We're at the uh, eighth corner of the end of every one of them good play. He's hard to be thinking blank now. Chance for Evan Edel with Kelly Casey Stone to slip three, and she could slip three in a way that would be hard to go uh, to be solid against any of them out. I think she did. She hit the one that was just delivered onto the one behind it. That one probably goes, although you can't see all of the first one. And the red one in the middle of the other two uh, isn't going anywhere. I'm going to try to hit this with some weight. The stone that was just delivered. On to about half of the stone behind it. Hopefully, in that way, she can put two red and lose the shooter. So, this is still back and off that gun line. Did she get this back a little bit? It'll be a little thin on the first one when she puts the first one in. That's Second out. One of a bad break. Not only did she not get the uh, back one out, but he was corner frozen. After the so I just keep leaving the same shot for the seven over to the uh, Draw the road up in the same time. To put three again. And coming up a little bit light to first the test of shot and stone. Really anything available for Fuji Sawa to hit. Gonna play the come around from the intern side. Third, Nami Shida. The best way she got to get out of trouble here, but possibility is there to, to make this way and she bring the steel back into play. This is really curling early though. Maybe a little bit light again. Chip off that red, she's at least got a rock she can use. I think she left it overlap. <laughs> Nothing left for the Silver Nagel team on the side that are playing all in, so asking Kelly Schaefer to come around. Her ice turn. Bring this around the screen. It was just thrown. Maybe in the top three, but it was set three. It's pretty talking about four. It's in. It's a room by Stone at the top 12. It didn't really throw him out. It just got enough weight. Had to wait on that to start moving, and then the only one the pressure. I think it was going to be in the deep of the full 12. It's still uh, 54 50. Take away the path on that interior side. It's still really using the stone for what it's really, I guess. You can tell it's the best way in. It looks to be the angle raised.
is the best way in, but she needs to make it now. Can't afford to be heavy and take it through. Always oh, like, it's questionable how much weight is going to have. I think she's just going to be able to it. It looks like a lot of ice. Fujisawa. Fixing a couple looking for the end of the into the forehead area. And the brush early. Up and on the close. It's the path. Just across the face of the top stone and a little bit deep. It's second shot though. Isn't really a direct into the four foot area, so you no know, Robin Silver never going to play a top of her own. Made a very similar shot in the third one, just went to the two, just up the single, almost the exact same spot. I don't know that she's necessarily showing it with any, any weight. This one used to draw a tab. I thought she might look at uh, playing it with some weight. If you have, how could she drive this back, catch the yellow, and, and clip the two behind it, maybe kill two of the yellows? There's only one yellow left in the rings on a lot of reds. It puts some extra pressure on Fujisawa. On the sweep, the line has to stay on the outside of this rock to get the angle she needs. Looks like this is going to overcurl, touch the yellow. Yeah, maybe she should have let that go. She could have touched the yellow and maybe redirected to the angle she needed. As it is, she left her shooter hooked underneath the uh, Yellowstone. I don't know if she's got anything much she can promote up. Fujisawa probably has the wide intern draw, try to get to the inside of the stone that was just tapped up. Chisel in off of it to sit shot rock. An option. To rub the stone at the top of the 12 foot though and leave Rob the Silver and go shot for a pile. That's got to be the concern no matter what you throw here. Still going to go with Shot Rock. It's probably got third and fourth. That one yellow at the back of the four foot. No real way to get at it right now. You hate to give her a way to get at it. Like the decision is they're just going to try to, to guard. Take that uh, shot I discussed. It, it's there for Robin Silver and Aku to come down, get to the inside of that red stone. You can see it's just edge to edge with the stone in the 12 foot. But if you can get across the face, chisel in off it, you might give it a second shot. The Fujisawa is going to try to just take that away, throw the guard, take it away. So when they go have a wide outturn draw, might be for two. She's got the option to perhaps come off the outside corner guard. Potential for three there. It's risky though. I don't know if she'll play it. This is indicating this might have a lot of weight. You don't want to come into the ring with this. 
point. If you're going to be in there, you may as well sweep it back. You want to be behind that red. Oh, that's shot before. You hit the yellow that was just delivered, come into the side of your red, push it into the one at the back of the forefoot. Both yellows go. Boy, when they were that deep, they may as well have brought it back and tried to get right by it. Have to hit the Yellowstone first because you want to be coming into the side of the red. Actually, the thinner you can hit the yellow, the better. Still might be coming to the back end of that yellow a little bit. You might, you might lose the uh, middle redstone. You might come off the back of the yellow and, and uh, spin back and up to only get three. Got the broom down and have an idea of the angle we want to hit this up. You're hitting them almost at the same time, but you have to hit the yellow first. You want to be you want to have your shooter kind of coming sideways into the red to push it straight sideways. It's a hit. A little thick on the first one though. Comes across not enough to uh, move that second one out of the forefoot. It's going to be just a single. A bit of a dodge bullet for Satiki Fujisawa. We're all tied up after seven ends of play, and Fujisawa will have last rock in the eight. I've been farming on my own right for 40 years now, I think. It's a very uh, wholesome enterprise. You have very, very busy periods when you have to go hard. So many of our windows are so tight that uh, you, you just can't afford to miss a couple days of seating. When a producer places their trust in us, that when it's time for them to be able to make their living, we're gonna be there. That's a tremendous responsibility that is not a one day a year thing, right? In order to actually deliver on that, you have to build your processes and you have to build your team and you have to have a, a mindset of operational excellence because there's a lot of things that can go wrong and it's our job to make sure that they don't go wrong or if they do go wrong that we can fix it before it affects our customers. So with the impact of my business and income, will this delay my retirement? I know you're worried Marshall, but based on the original plan we came up with, you're only about six months behind. I thought it would be years, not months. You should feel good. Remember, you've got a plan. Thanks. With change comes questions. See the impact of your money decisions before you make them with RBC Wealth Plan. Light up your love for curling with our customizable neon LED lights from Letterlands. Choose your new Neon Mix Doubles Partner or make a statement with a Neon Curling Rock in your window. Also actual Letterlands. Use discount code WOW for 15% off. Only at Letterlands.com. So close for Robin Silvernagel in that seventh end. Had a chance for probably at least three, potentially four. Get the first stone a little thick. Not able to kill the uh, yellow stone in the back and forth, but it was just a single. We're all tied up. We just saw with the last rock as we begin the eighth end here. The center guard is growing up to start the end.
Yurika Yoshida looking to come around. Maybe a room by the guard. They're trying to bring it back down just to bury a piece. But staying just fully open. We're going to go calling for the second guard now. Tighter than the one that was thrown on the first. Tough to get a good spread on the guard now. The first one's kind of in an awkward position, close to halfway. Like that would be longer and tighter. A little strong on this, so they're looking to try to bring it right to the face. They were looking for extra curl. It ends up just rubbing off that stone. It ends up in the back eight foot. It's open. Ukasawa could hit that stone at the back of the eight foot, but it's not likely ever going to hurt you. The freeze you would have expected to be playing anyway. Freeze onto your own stone, try to line something up for the button. You know that on your next attempt, you could start feeling guards. Just want an open shot with your last one. This one's really curling, however. Boy, you'd hate to be short here and have this rock act as the second guard. That's what you did. look at the situation on that side. I think it's all about whether she wants to be in front of the red stone in the, or pardon me, the yellow stone in the forefoot or when she comes around it. Top of the button to sit shot for now. But she's watching the corner free the shot stones. Shaver's been on this one all the way down. Robin Silvernagel meeting at the hog line. Get by both of the guards. He does sit right on the corner of that shot rock. We saw already with the broom down. Wants the double peel. Put this just right and bring it back into the rings and. Move both of the stones at the top of the forefoot as well. It just drives it by the yellow stone outside the front of the rings. guard back, maybe even a little bit higher, knowing that uh, Kibis always going to try the double peel, so get maximum separation between the two stones she's going to try to go after. Nothing yet out of Kara Teveno. Line's going to be nice. The question is, is there going to be any space between these? And it's tight enough now. They're trying to corner freeze it just so she can't play it onto the rocks in the rings. I think if she hits that on the center line side, it drags enough that it probably makes contact with one of the rocks in the rings. I think it might drag enough to it will get onto that. It couldn't save from this angle. Not as close to it as they are. She's just worried about clearing up the two center line guards. She's worried about where they go in the house after they get down here. She's close. Wants to hit about half. Does clip the red stone at the top of the forefoot. Moves everything out of the center line area. Leaves the red at the back of the 12, but Kukasawa sitting shot rock for now at the edge of the eight foot. 
Second shot back of the eight foot is Robin Silva. So we look to throw the guard on the center line and maybe just uh, a rock to it past this, across the center line here on this intern side for Kelly Shaver. Two Yellowstones two lines, both potential catchers where they could jam something trying to feel a guard. So I think just asking for a preference from the thrower, which way do you want to play it? I mean, it's jammed both ways. Playing to hit it in the direction of least. If you do jam it, it's still not going to be shot rock. Jams it, but thin enough that uh, she will lose both of those stones, and now there will be nothing left over, over there to jam you throw the center guard, they'll feel that direction for the rest of the end. Robin Silver Nagel knowing that, looking for a different place to put this guard. Change the shot a little bit. Garden the yellow shot stone. I guess at a, at a club level, you might hope that maybe you could convince your opposition to leave that guard there. That's not going to happen here. You can feel it no matter where you put it. But you do change the position. Really hoping for them to flash one, but maybe they get something started, or maybe it picks a little, and you get something just off a of nose hit, leave a rock out front somewhere. That's all you've got to try right now. She does have second shot of the back, we put in third at the back 12, so with her last one, I think she'll make a play on the Yellowstone, but may not try to move it very far, she needs to nudge it over a couple of inches to sit two. She's cut down the rings quite a bit there. Could just dead corner freeze that yellow with the last one as well. Might be playing it now. I want to freeze the yellow now, and if she does jam you into the button area, you could guard it with your last one. She's playing that same guard. Behind playing that she could have played the uh, the freeze there. You make the freeze there. Who you saw was probably still trying to hit it. She blasts it out, and if she ever gets it too thick, she might put it into the button area. If you make the freeze on your last one, who you saw was not hitting it. She's gone to the button. Thinking about drawing now, coming to her own. I love the best call I have to admit. Uh, this uh, front-end player that's come down, I don't mind her call. She looked at drawing to the back of the forefoot on the other side, then the uh, corner freeze is no good for a Robert Gilbert Eagle.
Part of freezing is great if you make it. You have to make it perfect. You chip off it all, you actually give Robin more to work with than, than what she's got right now. If you come by it and come behind the tea line, she can freeze to you. And again, she'll have more forefoot than what she's got to work with right now. Not sure you can make the draw, just peel the guard. Draw with your last one. Nothing wrong with discussing all the options in the end, they do go back to the field. Robert Silvernagel and Kelly Schaefer have already been discussing how they want to play this. You can dead freeze on the corner of the yellow. You can actually afford to move it and make sure she's sitting too. Probably the tolerance you don't want to be, uh, can't be light here, can't over curl. You don't have to throw it heavy. This is one where you can sweep it. Make sure you get the path you need to. Find the most important thing. Whatever hung on her, I guess you could try to come right to your own at the back of the eight foot too. That's that's a plan B though. Final stone for Robin Silvernagel. High game, needs the corner freeze. She just saw a sitting shot rock right now. Silvernagel needs to make a throw, and she's jumped on the sweep to make this curl. They're going to have to go for weights as well. This is going to be short. So Satsuki Fujisawa, not even going to have to throw her final stone. She's already got shot rock. That'll be a single point for Fujisawa. It goes into the books as a 4-3 final. And that puts Fujisawa at 4-0 through to the championship round tomorrow morning. Robin Silvernagel will have to do some scoreboard watching tonight. She sits at 2-2, two and, two and you're going to need some help. We've got uh, more action yet to come tonight. We'll draw at 545 local time and another one at 9 o'clock. That'll determine all of the playoff teams. And both the men's and women's action will have that for you here on Sastel. Curling Stadium, Nutrient Ag Solution Western Showdown. We want to thank you for being with us this afternoon. We look forward to seeing you again tonight and all day tomorrow. We feed the world with nutrient and a large portion of what our job is is to get fertilizer out with the carriers so they can get directed to the farms or to the different retail locations. We know that if we don't have the answer to something we're not afraid to reach out because we have support from everyone. We've got a really good team behind us. SASTEL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. 
With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium.